we're going to react to some Caitlin Bennett clips today. Now, for folks that don't know who this is, she's known on the internet by all of Gen Z as Crazy Gun Girl. She got famous a few years ago for going around her campus, uh, Kent State University, open carrying uh, an AR-15 or some sort of similar semi-automatic rifle um, and taking all her photos, just like extremely abrasive in your face about it, which, you know, I, I don't... I thought it was trollish, but I certainly don't have a problem with Second Amendment at all. I'm, I'm in favor of it. But what happened is that Caitlin Bennett, this organization that she is deeply involved with, Liberty Hangout, started out as a online libertarian organization dedicated to, according to its own principles, promoting Austrian economics and property rights, things people like Hannah and I believe in and stand for. <laughs> Yet this org has devolved into Holocaust denial, openly calling for a monarchy, and much, much worse. At this point, it has absolutely no libertarian left in its philosophy, but because of its origins and its branding, these people continue to give our movement a very bad name. Uh, and they've essentially just become like far-right trolls, basically. Caitlin Bennett does, she works for Infowars part-time with Alex Jones, and she does this these videos that are just intended to trigger the left, to get attention, to fight college students, to be offensive. And Hannah, it's time to start with number one, cooking up some liberal tears. Welcome to my kitchen, guys, where today we're going to be cooking up some liberal tears. I've done it again, guys. The libs are mad at me. And why? Because I <laughs> Do like they, cooking though? for my are husband. Are they actually mad at you about that? It really is so amazing that a woman cooking for her husband is seen as controversial in 2021 and would spark this kind of outrage. The same people who complain about misogyny or the ones that see women as nothing other than sex objects that need to spread their legs for money and pleasure. But when a woman says, hey, I think my life is more valuable than just sex or OnlyFans, feminists have a complete meltdown. This is why I don't care a thing about feminism. I care about being feminine. As a married woman, I want to cook for my family, clean my house, and one day nurture my kids. The left says being submissive to your family is oppression. Meanwhile, they want me as a woman to submit myself to their degeneracies and worldview. They don't want me to be happily married. They don't want me to cook and they don't want me to have kids. They believe the total sum of a woman's life <laughs> is having a wet <laughs> I'm traumatized. The cat, the wop. <laughs> so for folks that are listening, just so you know, at the end it's a reference to wet ass P, which is a rap song referring to female anatomy. Uh, <laughs> I Brad. still don't know how to react to this fully. That was so the music, like the like kind of hyper crazy music behind her, and then her big eyes. Like <laughs> I just like I feel like it's so like scary. Actually, she's so much. Um, that was that was a lot to intake. I but like the entire thing is kind of funny to me because I'm like, is anybody actually mad at you about this? Like I don't. I don't think so. Nobody's trying to stop you from getting married or cooking or cleaning. Like, if you want that lifestyle, go forth and prosper. Like, I don't... Who cares? Like, this but is that's such the a... problem, like, Hannah. Hannah, the problem is that she doesn't just want that lifestyle. Listen to the last 20 seconds of this one here. All right. Oh, boy. I have a lot of haters because they hate that I'm so happy while they're so miserable. And that's because I figured it out. So ladies, if you want to be as happy as little old Caitlin Bennett over here, get your butts in the kitchen, learn to start cooking. If you want oh, to be man. happy, Hannah, get in the kitchen. <laughs> get in the kitchen as, as happy as Caitlin Bennett, who is why, a deeply unhappy person. This girl goes around like assaulting people on campuses with her microphone, <laughs> demanding they give her like weird answers. Like, sweetie, you're not well adjusted, okay? Like, I have to say, 
I'm pro Second Amendment as they come, but the whole gun girl trope, I'm like, could you be any more thirsty and desperate for clicks and likes? Like, it's this trope you see repeated often online by many people in libertarian movements and in the right movement where it's like, oh, my God, look at me. I'm so cute. I have a gun. Like, it's just so desperate. And it's usually from people who don't really have any substantive opinions or anything to offer. They just want clicks because of their looks, because they're a girl, because they're holding a gun. And like, that's how she first got her whole thing going. And then she used that to go and start asking people really rude and invasive and weird questions on college campuses and like this is somebody who is desperate for validation she's desperate for an audience she's making videos claiming to be a victim and claiming people are keeping her from serving her husband in her home it's like this is like if i were to be like oh my gosh people are trying to stop me they hate me so much because i am filming the base brief and they hate it and they can't stop me <laughs> like i have so many haters who are trying to stop me it's like please somebody come attack me please like she's so she wants that like victimization so badly it's like honey I promise you, the left doesn't even care about you. The only people who care about you are people who are like laughing at your expense by your antics online. Well, the left loves you do to some hate really her. weird things. They do. They pay attention to her because they're to her that she's the the that's the prototypical clown conservative to them, which is part of why she's so harmful. She perpetuates these stereotypes that you want to say it's a straw man. No, you know people on the right don't think women belong in the kitchen, and then they pull up this girl with half a million YouTube views, and you're like, ugh gosh, we don't own her. That's She's crazy. <laughs> we and don't claim her. Yeah, she is not one of us. Not at all. Not a libertarian. Um, she, I don't even know what she is, um, but I will say just say this. Nobody really cares if you want to serve your husband or do whatever. I don't, I, I think it's weird that your like submis submission fetish is something you feel the need to like talk about and like make us all aware of and everything. Like, how about you just do you? No one cares if you want to be a mom. I mean, I'm sure there are a few radical feminists somewhere and that's who she cherry picks for these tweets that she cites in this video. But it's like, by and large, left or right, nobody cares as long as you do you. The problem is that people like her aren't content with that. They want to tell everyone else how to live their lives. And that's when they start roasting you and start clapping back at you and dragging you. And yet, I will just say disclaimer, like she has been assaulted on some of these campuses and we do not support any sort of violence or threats or anything that she gets. Um, so absolutely none of that from our supporters. I'm, I'm sure we don't even need to say that. But in general, the reason people roast you, Caitlin, is because you are thirsty and desperate and crazy and act crazy for attention, and you want to tell other people how to live their lives when you can't even sort out your own business, obviously, because that chicken looks dry as <laughs> Yeah, I think that's absolutely accurate. Like, you do whatever you want. I think there's very few people who care, like, what a woman does with her husband, what your, like, inner home decisions are as a whole, as long as you're not trying to push that on somebody else. Nobody really cares, and if they do, they're a deeply unhappy person, because I don't have time to care about what Caitlyn Bennett does with her husband. Like, what do I care? I'm a very a busy and full life. makes me a little nauseous start thinking about what she does with her husband. I, I don't think it's much outside the kitchen, but as a whole, like... <laughs> <laughs> Do whatever you want. Nobody cares unless, again, you're trying to force them to other people, which, which I do think she and Liberty Hangout have that angle. And here's a good example is like, we're going to play a clip now of what happens when Caitlin Benefit, uh, w when Caitlin Bennett encounters an actual libertarian in the wild. So this video, guys, is entitled College Students Have No Morals. And she's <laughs> going around asking college students at the University of Kentucky whether they think there should be tampons in the men's room because she's trying to like make it a transgender thing or something. Uh, take a listen. What do you think about putting urinals in women's restrooms for women who have penises and they just want to stand and pee? Um, I think people are just making too big of a deal about it. I don't really care. Ooh. Naughty words. Okay, so we should or shouldn't? I mean, I don't really care. Okay, what about tampons and pads in men's restroom? for men who have periods. If you're really getting that worked up about it, why does it matter? Like, I don't care. It's just sitting there, I'm not gonna take it. Okay, so we should provide men with tampons. I mean, if a dude wants a tampon for some reason, he can have a tampon, that's not my business. What would he use it for? I don't know, that's his problem. What would he use a pad for? His problem. Do you think they should seek medical advice if they're having bleeding? I mean, if they want to. I don't really care. Why should I care? I don't know. I care about people. 
If they're yeah, bleeding I, I, out of their penis, yeah. I would want to... I care about people's personal rights. They can do whatever they want. It's not, none of my business. This guy is based. I mean, I think it's silly to, to like, have these things. It pads in a, a men's room. Nobody's going to really need it. But I just love how she's so upset about it. And he's just like, doesn't affect me. Don't care. We love, we love a base king. I saw this a few years ago when it first came out. I was like, yes. And some, one of my followers actually knows him. Um, but he actually is a libertarian. And I just think it's so funny. Like, she's so flustered that she can't get him riled up over this thing that she, like, clearly spends, like, her nights staying awake when she's not sleeping with her husband, like, thinking about. Like, she's very, like, upset about it. And it's so funny to me. Like, ma'am, why do you care? Like, why is this where you're putting your energy? How does this impact you? And he's just so calm, like, not rattled, just kind of looking at her like, I don't understand like why you have this mic in my face asking me these dumb questions it's, <laughs> it's gold this this video is my only caitlin minute video i love she just seems absolutely flabbergasted by the idea that somebody could not care about what other people do in things that don't affect anyone else and just mind their own he's like she's like oh should they seek medical care he's like I mean, if they want to, like, <laughs> yeah, because it's none of my business, right? I, I, I do have, you know, my views on gender and sex, and they're not the far woke left views, but it's like, if a transgender identifying man wants to use a pad or something, I mean, good, first of all, if they're still menstruating, then they'll need a pad that's just pragmatic, but also like, why would I care? Seriously, of mm -hmm. all the things in my day-to-day -day life, that affect me, of all the public policy issues that affect people all across this country, she actually went and made a video about whether the University of Kentucky should have pads in the men's room. Girl, your priorities are, are all over the place. It's really strange. Again, like, I don't know. I just look at the actual, like, corruption and atrocities being carried out by our government every single day. I look at the lives being impacted and lost. I think about like, I just feel overwhelmed every day about how much suffering there actually is in the world and like how much we, I want to be able to do about it to stop it. And then I see people like this where I'm like, how is that where you put your time? How is that where you put your energy? Like, it's a very sad existence. I think it's sad that somebody who has, you know, the capability to grow a large YouTube channel and get clicks uses it for, not, I won't say evil, but for pointlessness instead of good and actually accomplishing something. I just think that's a really sad way to exist yeah, in I the mean, world. She's, get, she's getting millions of views on these videos. They have 624,000 subscribers. They're reaching people with this terrible. And let's also just be clear that liberty is in their name. Liberty is not going around carroting people about whether pads should be in the men's. I, it's just bizarre. Okay, guys. So in this clip, she's harassing students. Uh, and one of them wants to take a picture with her. So she said, and then she asked them to one of the guys to kiss another guy. And uh, this goes all over the place. Listen, if we get a picture, I will kiss this man. Nor do I really want to see two guys kissing, if I'm being honest. Why'd you ask us? I want to see if you would do it. Do you usually just, you don't care about kissing guys? It's just uh, like, okay, nah, do you? No, you clearly care a lot because it bothers you, but I don't, it doesn't it bother bothers you. me? Yeah, I really don't care. Why does it bother me if I want well, you to do so, it? It's such an uncomfortable situation to you, obviously you no, want to... it's uncomfortable. I don't want you to kiss my fiance. That's what would no, make me uncomfortable. kissing a man in general. It clearly bothers you. It doesn't bother me. I just think it's gross. I feel like I just got off the middle school playground. Like, are we eight years old? Because that's I, what oh it feels like. Oh my gosh. She's, and she's, it doesn't bother me. I just think it's gross. That's like the definition of bothers you. Yeah, it bothers you deeply. And you're going around instigating these kinds of things in your spare time, ma'am. Like, this is your hobby. This is what you do for fun. This is, this is called a fetish. This is a weird kind of like hang up that you have here. She's like a trad Catholic. She just converted to Catholicism, and yet, just a year ago or whatever, she was going around campuses asking men to kiss each other. Because it might not be clear from that video, but she actually was the first one to float that idea. And this dude is like, okay, I don't care. I will. Right? And I, I don't think he's gay. I think he's straight and just... Just doesn't, doesn't care. Because why would you? not bothered by it. Which is, like, actually... No, I'm not saying you have to be willing to kiss a guy to be, but if you're, he's clearly just very comfortable in his sexuality and she is so uncomfortable with it. And she got dragged for this, uh, because it's just, I mean, there's, oh, she's the worst. I don't know. It's just some kind of a weird hangup. If you're actually like physically bothered by what somebody else does, I, I can't. 
wrap my mind like i'm not i've never had any lesbian instincts i don't want to kiss women at all but like seeing a woman kiss another woman would not affect me whatsoever like i think that's just really again like you've got some kind of weird sexual hang-up it, it should be called sexual hang-ups instead of liberty hangout <laughs> that'd be a much oh better my name God. <laughs> so, well th i will say that they give me a vibe of maybe like they could be deeply repressed people yeah uh, who Thumbs are just up. taken out on the world here but regardless uh i i don't know whether it's true or not but there are a lot of rumors around on the internet that she pooped herself at a party <laughs> don't know if it's true but it's funny and i will just say that i think that's far more gross than men kissing <laughs> that disgusting <laughs> i'm gonna believe it's true because it's funny <laughs> can't verify but i like the sound of that it's also it's a weirdly specific rumor if it's not true <laughs> yeah and people just make things up that are that specific i don't, I don't think so <laughs> feels like a stretch all right well enough of liberty hangout it's really gross they use the word liberty guys steer clear from this org they're problematic um <laughs>